Yep, thanks for coming out. First of all, I want to say thank you so much to our fans. That was uh, a great turnout. I think we're getting better and better uh, filling up the seats um, every game. So we appreciate that. And you know, that's a big part of this. You know, sorry to the fans that we couldn't, you know, close this game out on our home court. But I um, thought the first quarter and moving into the beginning of the second quarter kind of killed us. We punched early. They punched back, and we just didn't respond for a little bit. Um, and, you know, we had a couple of defensive lapses and things like that that didn't go our way. And, you know, we got to continue to build. You know, it's a process, and this is the building process, and we'll get better. Uh, Coach, uh, a four-point game with six minutes to go. What do you wish you had done better down the stretch? Uh, made shots and defended. Uh, what about uh, Trailer gave you uh, trouble tonight? Uh, she did, and you know we were there were some things that we always say KYP know your personnel, and there were some things that we were supposed to be doing on her uh, that we didn't, and she ended up with 25 points. So that's you know errors that we have to clean up. Um, you know I thought when we did do it right, she didn't score. So uh, we got to get better at that, and you know just better at some things on defense. And you know we got I was saying it on the radio. Our our post players I thought did a great job today. I think you know our guards can really score and our guards can really affect the game. So I just got to, you know, continue to empower them to do that and, and make sure they get their confidence back. What did you hope to do with trailer defensively that just weren't, weren't, wasn't working tonight? I don't want to say what I wanted, we were trying to do. We just didn't do it. Coach, I was just curious, what were the conversations like in the huddle when you all did realize, hey, we can we can kind of go down low and kind of affect their big and Liz Kitley there? Um, you know, we I was just trying to put them in positions to be successful. We were trying to find different ways to isolate our bigs within our sets. Um, and I thought we did a good job of doing that. Uh, we, You know, one of the keys was to win the battle on the boards. We didn't do that. They out-rebounded us. And I thought we could have had more second chance points um, if we crashed the boards and then also limited them to, you know, one and done if we did a better job on the defensive board. So, um, you know, our guards actually help us rebound a lot. And, you know, our, our it's a total team effort. So, you know, that's something that we can control. And I didn't think we really did that. But, but as far as getting the ball inside, we did exploit what we wanted to in their defense. And I thought Cam, you know, really put the team on her back when she subbed back in with two fouls. Um, London came off the bench and was really a beast inside. Um, and sparked our team. So I think, you know, our bigs did a good job, um, I guess, you know, taking care of the paint. You mentioned Cam coming into the game there in the second corner, uh, helping to turn things around. You go down 15 points at that point. What did you like about how your team responded to that, you know, when it, the game could have gotten out of hand there? Yeah, I, I mean, we kept fighting, you know, um, persevering through adversity. We had a lot of adversity. We had foul trouble. Things weren't going our way. Um, Cam was a foul trouble really early, um, which is something that she's working on and we're trying to get better at. But um, I thought she did a good job of coming in and being aggressive without fouling because she had two fouls, but she was super aggressive, was putting points on the board, sparked us on the defensive side, and then everybody kind of raised their level. Lex came in and, you know, she, she had some really good defensive possessions, uh, pushed tempo and, and transition, things like that. So. Um, I think Cam sparked that for sure with her energy, but um, we just got to be consistent and do that for 40 minutes. Coach, um, just got to ask you, it just seems like from, you know, comparing last year, this year, it seems like you've brought a lot to this program, a lot of energy and a lot of passion. But overall, when you look at the season so far, where do you feel you are right now as a program and as a team? I mean, I feel like we're building, um, which is what we should be doing right now. Um, there's things that we're getting better at every game. It's not resulting in wins yet uh, in conference. I mean, we've won a lot of games this year, but you know, we just got to continue to focus on the details and get better every game um, until it does translate into wins. We got a tough schedule. Um, we got a tough conference, and we understand that. So mental lapses for a quarter and a half or whatever is going to be hard to you know get out, dig ourselves out of that hole. So we got to make sure we don't get down early. We got to make sure if we're up in the fourth, we finish. We got you know, there's little things that we got to continue to build, but that's part of the process. And like I always say, progress is the process. So, um, you know, I'm I'm not like discouraged. I'm upset that we lost this game on our home court, but I know 
I know what this process is like and I know what we have and, and I know what we're trying to build. So you just gotta stick to the process. Yeah, Coach, you were just kind of saying this, but Cam Taylor's second straight game with 20 or more points. Can you speak a little more about her impact tonight? Yeah, I mean, I thought that she was doing a great job of just being a force in the paint. Um, Cam is a very versatile post player, so she can score really at three levels. But, um, you know, one thing I think that she's going to work on in offseason is her three-point shot. We do, we do work on that, though. But her 15-footer's money. She's got great moves inside. She can rip and drive. So it puts a lot of pressure on other post players to guard her, you know, because you think, all right, let me play off her a little bit. She hits the 15-footer. All right, let me close out. She drives past you. Well, let me, you know, whatever you're trying to do in the low post, and she has great moves. So... Um, she displayed that today, and I thought she really put pressure on their bigs and got them in foul trouble. Alexia, talk a little bit about the team's approach towards all of these tough challenges. You know, ACC play can be so difficult, so many highly ranked teams. You guys are going to have another one on Thursday. Talk about your team's mentality towards games like this. Um, we just go into every game like it's the next game. We know, like, they're all ranked teams, but they're – Beatable, like we are able to go and play toe to toe with each team we play. We just gotta be able to go over that hump and finish it out every every game that we play.